Do you love breakdowns? Do you need stats? Do you crave insight? Download the All-Star app, UFC, Bellator, PFL1 Championship, and more. Ad-free, fully customizable. Download the best app in the business. Link in descriptions. At UFC 284 between Alex Volkanovsky and uh, Islam Mahachev. You know, a lot of people are just focused on the wrestling, right, of Mahachev going to be too much for Volkanovsky. Mm-hmm. And then people say the speed of Volkanovsky and his footwork is going to be the part that's going to allow him to compete with Mahachev. What do you see in this matchup? I mean, I was I was actually just watching fights, uh, some of his fights the other day, and the, uh, the um, Armin fight. Um, Tar, oh, Jesus, I always butcher... Names are the worst for me. Yes. Um, I was watching that fight with Islam, and I that fight was so impressive to me uh, from both of those guys' standpoints. Um, and I, I feel like that was the only fight that I saw that really negated not, – not negated per se, but like made the wrestling of Islam not look as dominant. Um, and the speed – I'm just not sure if it's going to play as major of a factor. The, you know, I feel like, especially Islam being the bigger guy, you know, I know that, that Volkanovsky is not a little guy. And, you know, I grappled with him one time. He's a tank, you know. He reminded me of, like, Wolverine. He's, you know, five foot two and 300 pounds. I mean, that's – you're like, okay. But I just – watching the transitions that he plays with through some of those positions and the way that he controls people, I just – there's only so many. There's only so many times you're going to be able to get back up, um, and I and I like the way that his game is not. I mean, it's he's looking for submissions, but he's not going to do anything that will put him out of position. Um, it's one of the things I try to preach to people all the time. I'm like, you don't don't do jujitsu for jujitsu's sake. Like, I, I don't. You don't need to pull guillotines. Don't do anything that could put you on your back. Um, you know, everything that you do, every transition that you make should find you on top of somebody. You know, I, I'm not even a big fan of guys pulling the back um, for so many reasons of people not having very good back control and then ending up losing it and being on their back. You know, I would much rather have somebody sit in turtle and just hammer somebody away and just consistently keep that pressure on. Um, and I feel like that leads to mistakes. And I feel like that's one of the things that Islam does really well is that he'll just keep pounding you from that position and keep such tight pressure that any cracks in the armor, you know, result in a finish. Um, so I, I got to take him in the fight. I've, if I was going to, if I was going to put, put money on it, I, I would throw money on Islam. Although I might not want to say that with the whole James Cross thing. I don't bet. I don't have a betting. <laughs> oh, that's, that might've been too soon, but still, yeah. um, yeah, I, uh, yeah, I would go Islam in this fight.